Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how you can configure the Velocity One flight stick in combination with the Phoenix Simulations A320. So the aircraft is already started but that should not be an issue but you can of course decide to say start from scratch. However it's super important that the MCDU is available because the MCDU is one of the components which you need to say configure the flight stick. So before starting you need to make sure that the flight stick is in the correct profile and the correct profile is also configured in flight simulator to do that you need to go to the control options and then for both the velocity one yoke and the quad make sure that it's set to the yoke twin engine jet and the quad twin engine jet which means it's the twin engine uh, engine jet profile and on your joystick, make also sure that the uh, profile is set to this profile because else it would say they're out of sync. So by default, there are already, I would say, a lot of keys configured, right? Because we're going to look specifically at the throttle in this uh, video. I'm going to show you a few things. So if you open the power management with the quad uh, selected and then double click on the throttle, you will see that already multiple options are configured. Of course, we've got the uh, engine number one and engine number two, but we also have the reverse thrust, which is uh, hidden under uh, B6, which is the button over here. That will place the engines in reverse mode, which will make it possible to uh, say, uh, drive backwards, but also, of course, to decrease uh, speed. Some people say, okay, hey, that's not what I want, and I really want to modify it. But where are those fields where I can modify the other items? Well, if you go to the filter section, you can go to new. It's a little bit weird name because it's not actually new, but unassigned. And when you go to this list, you will see tons of options, right? Including the ones which we already configured. So what you could do is you could configure this button, for example, to be the reverse thrust or to the be the uh, throttle to decrease which means it decreases further uh turtle beach they've released a firmware which is i think it's version 1.10 i if i'm correct that will make it possible to say assign options to the uh, throttles also if you push them below the zero level right and how to do that is really simple you simply press the option then you say, okay, hey, uh, on release or on press, I want to use a function and then I'll say push down the button. And then you will see that it automatically is assigning button number 12. The other button is, I think, button number 14. Uh, and once you've done that, right, you can simply press uh, validate and you can validate it here. And then we'll say, hey, do you want to create a new profile? Because all the changes which you're making, uh, I would say are written to a new profile so keep that in mind I'm gonna press cancel now because I'm I would say between records pretty happy with the uh, profile which is in place so once that's done uh, hit apply and save just to be sure everything is set correctly and then go back to the aircraft and the aircraft I would say is a little bit a special one right because we've got the throttle over here we've got the flaps and the throttle as you can see here has <clears throat> multiple options right by default it's set to zero but you can also go into the reverse mode and that's where we need to have that b64 which is the key on the uh, joystick now everything will be configured using this nice mcdu so what i'm going to do is we're going to go to a different uh, view not to this one uh which one is it this one yeah it's always that uh, it's always finding out which one it is so if you calibrated the joystick already then it will show give you the option to clear the calibration so that's what i'm going to do right now so once you clear the calibration you can press the calibrate option and the calibrate option allows you to start the calibration it has multiple options and it's divided in multiple sections it starts always with reverse thrust now if you want to use the default button which is the b6 button to put the aircraft in i would say reverse mode then you can simply press next however if you want to configure it differently for example you want to use the levelers i would say both for forward and backward then you need to make some modifications but for now we keep it as is 
The same thing is applicable to idle reverse. We simply keep the leverage for the engine power both in the idle state as well as the idle state of course for the normal mode because the normal mode doesn't require any changes. Now the wheel work starts. So in the next phase we need to set it to climb mode. Now here's the throttle, right? You can see it has been uh, set to zero mode and that can be uh, found out by looking at this piece because this is the piece where you will uh, hear the clicks also. So we're gonna increase it. And then you will hear the clicks, right? You need to hear uh, the clicks uh, either uh, both together or uh, I would say almost soon together. And then you can validate the uh, percentage because the percentage will tell you in which uh, say range you configured uh, these levelers. So then we can continue with the next step. And the next step is the flex MCT. And the flex MCT is one step further. So I'm gonna increase it and make sure that these are set correctly. So once we've done that, we can press next step again and then touch and go, which is simply full mode. And then we're gonna press next again. And then it will say, hey, do you want to store the calibration? Well, in this case, I want to store the calibration. So I'm gonna press the next option. So now it's using a custom throttle profile, which we just configured. And you can see that the clear calibration is visible. Now, if you're unhappy with the calibration, you can say simply press this button and then start from scratch this was the first piece because the second piece is might be even more important right the, the side stick and rudders you can tweak them if you want but in most cases they will work as is however there's one important other thing and those are the flaps because the flaps are by default not calibrated so in my case i already calibrated them right so let me uh, clear this mode and you will see this on your display flaps not calibrated now the weird thing about the calibration of the flaps is that you need to move the leveler but you won't see anything physical uh, changing uh, when looking at this button. You will see differences once you completed the calibration. So let's start. I'm gonna press calibrate and it says flaps up. Well, that's the default mode. So I'm gonna continue. And then I'm gonna move the leveler, right? And you can decide to which position you want to move it. And if we look at this one, at the leveler button right so it still is oh it still is in the i would say default position unless you go over it with the mouse cursor and then move it so then we can go to the next position which is flaps number two so i'm going to move my leveler a little bit further press next then to three also next and then to full and that's all what i said it's the zero position on the uh, throttle and then press next again and then it will give you the option to store the calibration so that's done right so now go to the let's say uh, normal view and then let's have a look at how it works uh, we need to i would say ignore all the beeps because the engines are already started right so you will hear some uh, nice or some weird things of course happening because it won't like it that you move those uh, items so first of all we're gonna test the flaps so you can see that now I can move the flaps button because by default this button is not assigned to anything and it won't move the flaps so be aware that you need to configure it next step is of course the b6 and you can see that when pressing the b6 it moves it to the uh, I would say reverse mode and then once it's in that mode you can simply I would say push the throttles forward to increase the speed once you're happy again you release it and then you can use them in a normal mode like you normally would do so these are the steps which you need to follow to make sure that you can use the uh, velocity one flight stick with the uh, phoenix simulations a320 this is the way i'm using it right there are multiple other configuration options which you can do with this joystick because it's i would say a joystick with a lot of options so if you decide to do it differently or if you've got some hints or tips then feel free to put them in the comment box below this video here ends this video i hope you liked it if you liked it then consider to like this video if you've got questions or comments then feel free to put them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date about new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time